So how can you build a CNN based image classification web app using which you can just upload an image related to an apparel or clothing in the web app and which will then be recognized and classified into one of the apparel assigning it a corresponding fashion tag. Folks Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. This is yet another project based video series where I will show you the application of image recognition. These type of apps have applications in retail industry. Here we will be building web app using Flask as front end and CNN based deep learning model will be used in back end to provide image predictions. I will be giving the demo of this app in this video. By the end of the series, you will not only be able to implement several convolutional neural network layers such as convolution, max pooling, dropout, flattening, fully connected about which we learned in previous video but also build the complete flask web app from scratch. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. GitHub link for all the required Jupyter notebooks is given in the description section. Please don't forget to like and share this video. Please note that convolutional neural network model will be trained on grayscale images that is images which are black and white so when you try to do image prediction then make sure that you provide grayscale image as an input to this model. So here is the image which we want our CNN model to recognize and then predict the fashion tag of that image. Please note that it's just the basic application I have built but if you want uh, you can make it beautiful by making use of a bootstrap framework which is associated with HTML. Let's see the flow of this application first before we jump on to the demo. So on the left hand side we have the client application such as web browser. On the web browser we will upload the image using upload button. This request of image goes to server via internet and it gets stored on the server. Deep CNN or convolutional neural network model which is also stored on server takes that image as an input tries to extract the features of the image using various layers like convolution, max pooling, dropout, flatten, etc. and provides predictions of which apparel it would be in the form of text. The response of this request sent back to the client telling the end user about the kind of fashion tag it is. So let's now quickly see the demo of this apparel uh, prediction app. So from command line let's invoke our web app. I will say python app.py so app.py is the python file which contains the code of this particular app let's press enter you can see that a url is provided which we will copy and paste it in web browser so this is the url so let's copy this and paste it in the web browser and press enter and you can see that our web app has been opened up here you will see a browse button and an upload button so this is a browse button uh, to choose a file and this is the upload button to upload that file on the server. So when we press a choose file button then a browse window will open up. So let's click on it and let me locate my file. So this is the file sandal.jpg which I want to upload. This particular image is a grayscale image which I showed you earlier. So let's choose that. So when you selected this image, you can see that the name of this file has appeared right after the choose file button. Let's click on upload and your image file will get uploaded to the desired directory on server and our CNN will extract the features of this image to provide the prediction result in the browser. So you can see here that both the image uh, which we uploaded just now and the corresponding predicted a fashion tag has appeared here. So the fashion tag for this image is sandal which is pretty much right. Since our app is running on local host so both client and server are residing on my computer only. So this is the local host URL on my computer. So you can see that image has been recognized perfectly and it has been given a fashion tag 
as sandal by our convolutional neural network so our model is working perfectly now let's understand the project folder structure for this entire application so let me open the atom editor first so on the left hand side you can see that my project folder name is classify underscore clothing underscore apparel underscore app i created this folder in my computer's g drive i just went there i right clicked there and uh, created a new folder with the name classify underscore clothing underscore apparel underscore app here you can see that the folder is present in the g drive then i went on to the atom editor clicked on file option and then clicked on add project folder to add a uh, classify underscore clothing underscore apparel underscore app folder here in atom editor as a result of this operation the project folder got added on atom and can be seen at left hand side here so now let me go uh, step by step the different files and folders first we have a static folder here which contains static elements like images audio files css files etc you can see that it has one subfolder with the name images this image folder is the place where all of our uploaded images will come when you upload them using upload button from the browser just like we did in the demo so when we clicked on upload button that image came into this folder only so similar kind of replica we create on the server side so when we uh, click on upload button this image goes into the images folder then we have another folder called templates it contains all the web pages associated with this app so you can see that i have created two uh, html pages inside this templates folder one is home page which provides the image file upload functionality and another uh, one is predict web page which is created for showcasing the predicted results so this is our predict.html page and this is our home.html page so the predict web page is created for showcasing the prediction result in the form of fashion tag along with so showcasing uh, original image side by side in the html web page form so if you click on home.html you will see the html code related to upload functionality similarly you can see uh, that predict.html page contains the logic for showcasing the output of cnn prediction result then we have app.py file which is the heart of this application and contains the complete logic associated with capturing image input from home.html passing it to the server engaging deep cnn model to receive the input image and provide output prediction and then transferring the same to the predict.html page the code contained in this file is completely python based next we have clothing classification cnn model which is saved as clothing underscore classification underscore model dot h5 file this is the trained model which we trained on image data and saved it as dot h5 file so that we don't have to train our model again and again we can just train it once and then save it so that we can load it whenever we want to we will be building this cnn model first and i'm going to use a google collab to train our cnn model as i would get free gpu based machine for faster model training since i would be training our model using 60000 grayscale images so i would definitely be needing gpu based accelerator if you want to know more about google collab then you can just go through this video let's now learn about data set we are going to use we will be using fashion amnist data set for model training this data set consists of a training set of 60000 examples and a test set of 10000 examples each example is a 28 by 28 grayscale single channel image which is associated with a label from 10 classes this data set is kind of a replacement of original amnist data set which contains a lot of handwritten digits the 10 fashion 
class labels are t-shirt slash top trouser slash pants pullover shirts dress coat sandal shirt sneaker bag ankle boot since i explained all the important cnn related layers in the previous video so i thought of uh, taking uh, gradual steps to develop the simple cnn model and then moving on to building some complex cnn based applications later on this is to ensure that people with beginner level understanding can also follow along and build this application the fashion amnest data set was created by e-commerce company zalando here i will be making use of uh, keras framework to build our cnn model with tensorflow as backend building this model from scratch will not only give you hands on experience working with the keras library but also the hands on experience of implementing various cnn layers for classifying the fashion images and categories you don't need to uh, go somewhere to download this data set rather it is easily downloaded from keras.dataset library and i will be showing you how to do that in this series please note that you need to have keras and tensorflow installed in your virtual environment before you start develop your application i'm using anaconda distribution so first i activated my virtual environment using command activate followed by name of my virtual environment which in my case was application env as you can see here and then i went ahead installing these packages by using command conda install tensorflow and conda install keras we should always try to create a separate virtual environment for our individual applications so that one application can stay unaffected by changes in another application and thereby avoiding any application crash so folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming video we will start developing the cnn model which will be used in the backend to provide image predictions to our clothing prediction web app so here is today's question the static folder used in the web app is being used for what purpose please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post the technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you